Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. For those of you who are new here, we talk all things Detroit Lions, and we make videos almost every day. So subscribe if so inclined to keep up to date with your Detroit Lions. Hit the notification bell if you want this to appear in your YouTube notification feed, so that way you won't miss an upload. There's so much to talk about. I'm going to try to keep up with this and still keep this video under 10 minutes. The first trailer for the Detroit Lions and Hard Knocks is out. If you have not seen it yet, you can go to the NFL app, click on the Lions tab. I'm sure most of us have the Lions saved as our favorite team, and you can watch the trailer for the Detroit Lions and Hard Knocks. Kudos to the NFL Films team for putting together a phenomenal trailer. The Detroit Lions media team is phenomenal because a lot of their work looks like the NFL Films work. So check out the Detroit Lions Hard Knocks trailer. It will get you totally excited for Hard Knocks. Today was the first day of Lions Camp open to the public, but not just anybody, season ticket holders. And they said that more than 2,500 people showed up to Allen Park. I'm sure that the entire bleacher section was filled. If you haven't been to training camp, there's a good substantial amount of bleachers, about 100 yards or so from what I can remember. And they said they had over 2,500 season ticket holders come out for the Detroit Lions training camp. So a pretty big turnout to go along with the massive amount of excitement coming into camp this year. So now let's get into our training camp rundown. Jamison Williams is a long way away from taking the field and he cannot even participate in practice, but he is staying very involved. Everywhere he goes, he has a football with him. He is getting quizzed by the coaching staff and he's asking Dan Campbell and coaches a lot of questions. He wants to stay involved, and his teammates look to keep him involved as well. Here's what DJ Chark and Dan Campbell had to say about Jamison Williams and keeping him involved. This information comes from the Detroit Free Press. From DJ Chark, when you're on the side watching, sometimes those days become longer than what they usually are. So just keeping him engaged, keeping it lighthearted. I know he's just putting in his own individual work to get back, and I know he's excited. So I'm just here so that when he is back, he can jump right in and keep it pushing. I think he's going to help us a lot. But the biggest thing is being a teammate, being a brother at this point. Coming from Dan Campbell, he's had four really good days of rehab since we started. Those are things that's like, okay, that really excites us. Because he's putting in the work, and I think he kind of knows it and feels it. The football side of it, man, he is very much engaged. He's putting himself in that position. Okay, I'm in the Z here. I'm breaking the huddle. This is where I line up. This is my split. This is my route. So as you can see, Jamison Williams is chomping at the bit to get back out there. And according to Dan Campbell, he doesn't want to put a timeline on it. But it may be a while before we see him. But we knew that already. I know I wasn't too happy about the trade up, but all that's in the past. I am totally stoked now. Moving on to Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson again for the third day in a row is making quite the impression with not only the coaching staff, but the media as well. And it looks like he put on a show again this time in front of the fans. Rookie first round pick Aiden Hutchinson is already one of the Lions best defensive players. And every time I see him wreak havoc on the practice field, he was disruptive against the first team offense in a run period Saturday. I'm reminded how few true defensive playmakers the Lions have had in recent years. And Dominican Sue was truly the last menacing player the Lions have had on that side of the ball. Burkett is even comparing him to former first round pick for the Detroit Lions and Dominican Sue in the sense that when we had in Dominican Sue, you really had the game plan around him because he would wreak havoc on the field, very similar to how Aiden Hutchinson is doing in practice. Now, there are no pads on as of yet, but that's going to come sooner than later. So we'll see how Aiden does once those pads come on. Third year player, Jeff Okuda. Looks like he's putting a smackdown on a lot of his teammates. Jeff Okuda was involved in a couple big collisions Saturday. He ran through Quintez Cephas when Cephas caught a square in during run period, then quickly helped his teammate up as fans let out a long, Ooh. A few periods later, Okuda smacked into Tom Kennedy on a pass breakup. Clearly, the third-year cornerback is anxious to get back to football after a rocky first two seasons. I am happy to hear this about Jeff Okuda. Jeff Okuda is starting to actually grow on me. I want to see this guy succeed. I've always wanted to see him succeed because he's a player for my team, but he's starting to really grow on me. I saw him last year in practice. He looked pretty good. He looked like he was going to have a good year, and then obviously we know what happened in game one against the San Francisco 49ers. So, 
Jeff Okuda is stepping it up, man, and I really hope that this can translate onto the football field because we need a healthy Jeff Okuda. Amani O has come into his own, and he's only got a brighter future ahead of him. So if Jeff Okuda can do something similar and turn his career around for the better, that would be awesome. So I'm really rooting for Jeff Okuda to succeed this year and to complete a season. The Detroit Lions are off tomorrow. They're going to get some rehab and rest, and they'll be back at it on Monday. Monday is when the folks who are not season ticket holders can come and watch the Detroit Lions. All but one practice left is not open to the general public. We went over it already, but Monday practice begins at 7.30. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday the 4th, and Friday the 5th it does as well. Saturday, August 6th is the Family Fun Fest at Ford Field. That is not listed here. And then Monday, you have the 1.30 practice. Tuesday back at 7.30 when the gates open. And Wednesday is the last practice at 8.30. After that last practice, we will then, two days later, have the first preseason game for the Detroit Lions against the Atlanta Falcons. That will be at Fort Field. I do plan on attending that game, so hopefully I'll see you there. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. We are about 15 subscribers away from 4,300 subscribers, making a pretty good pace on our goal to get 5,000 before the season starts. So if you like the content and you want to see more, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. We have 43 days into the Lions home opener and 13 into the first preseason game. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. And as always, go Lions.